Hi everyone, this is Flo and today I want to show you on my HTC Zer HD this new version of Subsub Prime. This is the version 14 just there with uh, based on the HTC One S V and the HTC Zer X. So this one is just based on, on those two different phones. This is an ice cream sandwich with Sense 4.1 and um, this is cool to get uh, this ice cream sandwich with Sense 4.1 this is not the fastest custom ROM already seen and uh, there is still some uh, some bugs I have detected uh, you can see that it takes some time to uh, a time to open different apps okay so there we don't have the bursts we just have to take pictures like that as you can see then we get the gallery we can record uh, a video just there, you see it takes 2 seconds to start the recording, just there, but the focus uh, is just so cool, just there, okay, we get the perfect focus. We can take some pictures just there when we are just recording the video, but just before this test uh, I have a bug on the camera, okay, so we are opening the gallery just there, so it takes some seconds, just there, with the pictures just taken, okay. Um, also, you can see the jailer just there, we press uh, the app and it's open, but sometimes if the app is not already open, like that, if you go to recent app and close the clock and the jailer, let's go to open it, you can see it takes a few seconds more to open it. Then we get Google Chrome, this is cool to get this application and not the uh, browser from the HTC. So we get also this browser but we get also Chrome and this is cool to get that. We get the EA Games applications, the music, just there, fully working there also. Mm, we get the Gmail and a lot of different apps just there with the Google search just here. We don't get uh, the Google Now uh, at this current moment. Okay, um, we get also this uh, this rosy just there. We get the settings as you can see here, there with display and gesture, and we get recent apps button. Uh, this is recent press for recent app and press uh, and hold for menu. Uh, as you can see, this is the desire AG, so we get menu immediately, and the press is on the home button to get the recent tabs, and this is AOSP recent tabs and not HTC recent tabs. Okay, uh, about the keyboard, maybe we get the keyboard from HTC just there. We can learn how to type. Uh, you have a lot of ROM for the keyboard available. Mm. I will try to show you, um, I don't know, yes, on the drawer just there we get the menu, uh, we get also on the gallery this same, uh, this menu just there, but we are not able to uh, to class by event, we are able just to select the albums or different applications, albums just there, and that's what I, I want to show you about this custom map. So thanks to the dev to have done this uh, this custom ROM. There is maybe some bugs and lags to uh, to correct, and it could be an amazing custom ROM uh, just to be maybe faster also. And this is cool. We look uh, the possibility to use the phone on uh, landscape mode is just so cool. As you can see there, uh, all the phone is usable like that. We get also the quick settings on the uh, on this um, notification status bar. Just there. With some mods uh, to add, it could be so cool. As you can see, I have pressed to uh, to open the lock screen like that. Okay, and sometimes it takes more time to open it like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that's what I want to to show you about this custom ROM. Uh, thanks, because I am able to to flash it and previous version. I was not able to, to flash it and launch it, so this is good to to be able to test this custom ROM. Thanks, don't forget to comment. Oh, this screen is so sad. sad. Okay, thanks to have seen this video and comment it. Thanks to thumbs up, that was flow.